Tonight at 10 on ABC4 News, we are continuing our coverage on the weight of the call and the impact it has on our first responders' mental health. These men and women play a critical role in our Utah communities. ABC4's Jason Wynn joining us now live in studio. And Jason, you found out there are issues specific to emergency responders in southern Utah. Yeah, and we're going to expose some of those issues throughout the night tonight. Emily, most first responders in our state are paid full time wages and they get full benefits. But in rural Utah, a lot of emergency workers are volunteers and they don't get the same benefits. Because of that, it's harder for emergency directors to tell who has suicidal thoughts and who may act on them. So we followed the state critical incident stress management team to Kanab in December for a very important peer support training. It would be helpful for me and other members of our agency to understand more about the training and things that are available to them that will be helpful for, for them in their job. Now, Claire tells me volunteer first responders in Wasatch County are still grieving from a crash that happened a year and a half ago where six people died. He believes peer support programs may help these folks deal with mental health issues. Coming up at five, I'll tell you more about the continued struggle to access much needed mental health resources for those dealing with the weight of the call in rural Utah. Emily.